popcorn. Mm. Good morning to you. I hope you are doing good wherever you are situated in the world. I am coming to you with a message for you, Capricorn. Please be reminded that not every message will always be for you. Please do not force any message to fit as you would never force your foot in a shoe that doesn't fit you. Well, most people would. <laughs> I hope you are doing well. Thank you for being here. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, I'm very, I'm very grateful to have you here. Okay, let's take a look at what Spirit wants you to know at this time. Spirit, please guide and protect me as I channel the messages that Capricorn needs to know at this time. I hope you are feeling blessed, loved, protected by Spirit, highly favoured at this time and you and your loved ones are in good health and safe. Let's have a look. Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. Messages for the sign of Capricorn. All right, let's take a look. Blossom in abundance. Number three. Indecision. Number eight. Messages for Capricorn. Woman holding a coin. Number 42. And deceit. Daughter value. One for deceit, please. Angel of balance journey financial constraints um at the bottom of the deck we've got financial constraints um first message somebody around you somebody around you who you could have dealt with in your past we've got angel of balance and journey for a lot of you here capricorn you are embarking on something new in your life for a lot of you you are looking very stable for a lot of you you are kind of coming across the sun card i saw yeah you're 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 very happy at this time um or you're working on something that is kind of causing you to be in a really balanced energy a lot of you could be feeling a lot more positive about um a place that you're at in your life for some of you you could have attained some sort of um new position in terms of your work your stability could be looking up i see an increase in your finances here there's somebody around you who you could have dealt with in the past that is kind of looking at you as if um, they're seeing you do this. They're seeing you embark on some sort of new journey, kind of attain a lot of balance. A lot of you could be very self-focused. You see how the angel there is just focused on what she's got holding there. I think it's a lamp. Okay. I'm getting Queen of Cups energy. A lot of you could be um, moving on, going on to greener pastures sorry greener pastures here and i feel like you've got somebody here who possibly is looking at you as an opportunity to take something from this person may be going through some sort of struggles in their own life with financial constraints but we're going to pull some cards on whatever this is here see who this is there's also a decision that you could be struggling to make in terms of your finances but I feel like either way, you're going to be good. So that's a side note. Who is this person? Could be a person you're holding back from. What is this deceit card, please? We've got the four of swords in the reverse. And we've got the page of cups. Could be a water sign. A cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Six of swords. This is somebody who you moved away from. You could view this person as somebody who is not realistic in their um, expectations in some way. Pigs might fly, I'm getting. Four of Cups. Yeah, this is somebody who you've moved away from and your, your back is kind of turned to this person. I feel like you could have been very interested in this person in the past. You could have tried to... Um, yeah, the Emperor is here. It could be a father figure. It doesn't have to be. Aries energy. This could be a person who you tried to kind of get something off of the ground with. But I feel like this person kind of maybe withdrew or made you wait. Magician card. Hanged man. They're having a change of perspective. This person could have been kind of a person who had 
you know, outlandish, wishful thinking sort of um, perception over the connection that they had with you. You could have found that nothing that you were doing with this person kind of um, or tried to present this person with was enough. OK, you could have felt like you were dealing with somebody with um, their expectations was too high or something of that such here. This person wants to come forward here because we've got the Four of Swords in the reverse. This person could be getting over some sort of ailment, some sort of illness as well. That's a side note. It doesn't have to be. You could have dealt with somebody, Knight of Wands is in the reverse, somebody who wasn't very grounded. You could have dealt with somebody who was younger than you as well. With the Hanged Man and the Magician card, this person is viewing you as somebody who is making things happen with the Magician card. And with the Hanged Man, they're having a shift in perspective. But be careful, this person doesn't have good intentions with that Deceit card. What is this person's intentions here? I saw another page energy as well. Page of Wands to come forward and spark up some something new. Why are they doing this? Why are they coming forward? Judgment, Justice, Knight of Cups. This person wants to make peace with you. But there's secrets here, High Priestess. This person could be silent or could have tried to give you the silent treatment in the past. Could be a Libra or a Scorpio. With the Justice card, the Judgment card, this person could be under some sort of judgment and as a result of that, they want to come and offer you a peace offering with the Knight of Cups. Definitely could be a water sign, a, a Cancer, a Pisces or a Scorpio here. Knight of Wands in the reverse came out. This person's still inconsistent. So if this person was inconsistent in the past, I see that, that yeah, Seven of Swords, you, you kind of don't trust this person. Like, well, not kind of, you don't. The Moon... This is hidden things. This is somebody moving shady. You could have felt like this person was moving a bit shady. You never really knew where you was with a person. You could see this person as deceptive and you don't trust them. And I, I kind of feel like that is, you know, you've seen what you need to see about this person. With the Knight of um, Wands in the reverse, that's somebody who's not grounded. It's somebody who's still in and out. They're still on some BS in short. They're still on some BS. Yeah, this person is not moving anywhere forward in a hurry. If this person was stagnant with you or refrained from trying to push something forward with you, this could have been a person you was in a connection with. This person is it's going to lead to heartbreak all over again. We've got the Fool card, the Moon card and the Eight of Wands is in the reverse. This person's not going anywhere in a hurry. They keep secrets. This person could be very juvenile, not have growing to do have growing to do yeah this will end in heartbreak this person still possibly is in another connection or has options here with the lovers card in the middle could be a gemini there's a lot of conflict around this person and this will end in heartbreak okay so that's a side note somebody's watching you watching you go into this new balanced energy and they don't have the best intentions clarify this um choice what is this choice here queen of wands this could involve a fire sign here or you've got a lot of fire in your chart. For a lot of you, this is a business move. You know, whether you can take whether you should take the job or not or whether you should um, level up in some way. I feel like you're finding your confidence here. For a lot of you, you've got a lot of options, which is making the decision hard. You could be deciding between jobs here, between paths, the tower. Eight of swords. Yeah. I feel like if this hasn't happened yet, Queen of Swords, you're going to have to be thinking about something in a logical sense. You know, what is best for you? What is going to bring you balance? What is going to work for you? For a lot of you, this is to do with your work with the Eight of Pentacles. We've got the Three of um, Cups there with the Temperance Energy. A lot of you could be going into business or surrounding yourself with a new group of people where you're going to be working on something specific. This is going to be opening up a lot of options for you where it could cause a lot of confusion or indecision and unexpectedly you could feel as though you're presented with so many opportunities i'm talking to somebody who may be at a stage in their life where you could be attracting a lot of new opportunities you know do i go this way do i go that way do i take that job or do i stay here do i not stay here and make you know create an, a business you know an online business or a pop-up shop you know those kind of decisions there that i'm seeing that you make you're making here and with the tower and the eight of swords unexpectedly you could find yourself in a bit of a bind in terms of what to choose but i feel like you as the queen of swords you kind of know what's best for you 
And with the woman holding a coin, the queen of wands, that is a lot of boss B energy. You're coming with the fire. For a lot of you, you're very stable, okay? So don't overthink too much about a decision here because I feel like you're going to be good either way. The Empress, absolutely. Absolutely. This is giving birth to the new. A lot of you could be mothers, but you don't have to be. The world is at your fingertips with the empress this is a lot of strong divine feminine energy the hierophant elevation okay self-mastery for a lot of you you are studying for something new or you are trying to reach new heights in your career but this energy right here you have nothing to worry about we've got the empress we've got the queen of wands and we've got the woman holding a coin okay this is good energy as well as the fact we did have that queen of swords that showed herself that is all four queens the empress is all four queens combined and i see you making a really good decision whatever it is that you're going to be doing i definitely see you exuding a lot of divine feminine energy and you're going to be very confident with it too so i wouldn't worry too much fantastic energy wow okay let's draw for a main spread for you capricorn we kind of went on a tangent there let's take a look you need to know <clears throat> oh cards are falling i made my coffee quickly before this reading mm. and i'm drinking that now capricorn messages for capricorn please we have the tower came out again we've got the three of pentacles a similar message you know you're going to be presented with opportunities where you're going to be possibly given opportunities to work within groups or an opportunity to work with a certain group because the three of pentacles is here the three of pentacles talks about collaboration this could be to do with your stability or some sort of establishment here and with the hermit energy i see you taking a high a high perspective you know you're viewing something from a higher up level kind of thing and i feel like that's due to your stability and being able to see something and how it's going to benefit you four of swords this is you thinking about a decision thinking about where you want to go thinking about what you want to work on with the eight of pentacles this definitely has to do with your work the last few readings that i've been doing i'm getting a lot of work energy you know um opportunities um you know projects things of that such more about stability okay i'm not seeing a lot about love here although it could be could be i'm not seeing a lot of love here king of cups i say that and the king of cups is at the bottom of the deck some of you definitely have a water sign i did say that earlier in your energy empress watching you glow up watching you happy yeah same energy same energy yeah same energy empress sun card six of wands a lot of success here this you're going to be attracting a lot of things in this empress energy divine feminine energy like i say a lot of you are thinking about collaborations thinking about what to work on thinking about where your investment is going to be paying off for you and i definitely see some some sort of unexpected elevation for a lot of you you're viewing something from a higher perspective with that hermit card some of you could be studying i did say that with that hierophant in the last spread some of you could be leveling up some of you could be you know researching reading to kind of um, build up your skill base in order to be really solid with whatever it is that you're working on and whatever this is that you're building i see it being very stable for a lot of you you could be workaholics or really dedicate a lot of time to your work and you know i feel like with the four of swords here this is something that you're heavily contemplating at this time most definitely let me grab you some kipper cards see what we get messages for Capricorn high honor wealthy man whatever this is for some of you you could be meeting a counterpart especially with the woman holding a coin expectation is here I feel like you you're there's a lot of leveling up that's going on in your energy a lot of elevation a lot of higher perspective thinking a lot of you could have um, kind of gone through some sort of initiation or rite of passage in terms of you know how you're looking at life 
where you the direction in which you're taking your life and i feel like you're being very practical with the three of pentacles the woman holding a coin this is about practicality of things and i see you kind of moving to the next stage and for some of you you're attracting somebody who is going to be of a similar calibre when we work on our energy when we elevate it kind of paves the way to kind of meet somebody who is kind of similar kind of vibrating at the same level as us okay unexpected income there's definitely a something to do with abundance something to do with your money okay i feel like you're going to be presented with an opportunity to make more money and you may have indecision about this bad health is in the reverse I see your health getting better as well. Occupation, that's due to possibly you channeling, you know, a lot of your energy into your work. Bad health came out in the reverse with the occupation there. A lot of you could be spending a lot of time working. For a lot of you, the bad health could be mental health. A lot of you could be um, in a really good space mentally due to having a project, due to having a direction, due to really putting in work to be stable here. Thief. Be very, very careful. Be very, very careful. We have the devil energy here, thief. When you are working on elevating yourself, when you are vibrating higher, when you are trying to attain better for yourself, and this is hard work, you know, a lot of people who kind of cast jealousy or evil eye or look at you as why is the opportunity going to you, why you know, are you doing that? Well, why is it not me that's at that level? You know, all of those things and, and in between. People tend to forget that everybody has a season, okay? Not everybody is necessarily winning all at the same time. So when you kind of are seen as to be doing better or you have found some sort of stability within yourself, within your life, it kind of attracts haters as well. It's a given, and you have somebody here who could be looking at what you're doing and not be happy about that child. You could view this person as childish here compared to you. The child and the privileged lady came out back to back. You could view this person as somebody who may have been childish with you, who you may love as, yeah. You could have felt heavily connected to this person, could be a Gemini. This person's thinking about you, but again, we've got that thief card back there again, okay? Just be very, very mindful of this water sign, this earth sign potentially, that could be in your energy. I feel like you've you've definitely kind of, if you had some sort of um, anxiety, worry, mental health stuff going on, things that to do with your mind, overthinking, you could have struggled with not sleeping, okay? Your health could have been struggling at one point. I feel like you're definitely channeling, channeling that and you're doing a lot better health wise. You're doing a lot better in yourself. And that's just due to you concentrating on your stability. You're looking really good right now, Capricorn. This is kind of your energy, Capricorn energy. I'm definitely getting that. OK, so keep going. Keep going. Any last messages? Let's see what else. This could also be a person you had children with, this water sign energy. Queen of Swords, Ace of Wands. Yeah, you, you're not playing. I'm just getting a lot of boss beat energy. You, you know what it is that you want. You're not holding no prisoners. You're just here for it. And because you're coming across in this really strong energy, this is all four queens that I've seen in this reading, Capricorn. Real divine feminine, divine masculine type of energy. Take it as it resonates. You could be a masculine and just embodying more of your feminine energy. Take it as it resonates. Temperance, balance. As I say that, temperance talks about balance. It talks about things coming into um, equilibrium, okay? And with that queen of swords, you being in this stance of kind of knowing what you want, being very concise, being very logical about how you go about things, it's creating new passion for you. It's creating these new opportunities for you. Five of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. High Priestess. For a lot of you, you're definitely moving in silence at this time. And I feel like you've distanced yourself from possibly 
you know, for some of you, you've gone through some sort of lack in the past. You could have struggled with money, had worry. Some of you, you, you could have had to have worked on your finances. And for a lot of you, you may have distanced yourself in order to do this, to have some sort of level up in your energy. I definitely see a spiritual upgrade as well with the High Priestess and the Ace of Wands, okay? This is self-mastery. This is moving to the next level. I'm just seeing a lot of elevation here in your energy, Capricorn. And this is due to you setting boundaries, okay? For a lot of you, um, spirit is actually protecting you. I get that. With the Queen of Swords, High Priestess, and the Seven of Wands, I see protection. I see heavy protection around you. So you are heavily protected at this time, especially from this individual here who may be casting an eye over what you've got going on. With the Magician card, you're, you're doing bits right now, Capricorn. You're, you're flying high. I'd see you... A lot of opportunities here and if if anything what i see this as is you kind of creating something out of nothing for some of you you could have been down and out in the past ten of swords that is defeated energy okay that is you picking yourself up there's no life in that body there with the ten of swords magician card and you're you've risen Crone of Swords, King of Swords energy with the Six of Wands. You've overcome something of the past. Ten of Cups is here. This is you elevating. This is you using pain, turning it into power. And I see you as that magician energy. I definitely see that very strongly. You know, this energy it takes a lot to get yourself from that down and out energy. Ten Swords, down and out. That's dead. Depleted, defeated energy. And for you to be here in this state of manifesting new for yourself, all of the tools around you, that's you. That is you. Be proud of yourself. That's you who's culminated all of that. That is you. That is due to your hard work, your ability to stay in the game, your ability to be consistent and work hard is presenting life is presenting you with these opportunities here and you're onto a new journey spirit is blessing you and you're highly protected due to the fact that you've worked really hard on what it is that you've attained and where you're going is so much brighter than where you've been absolutely don't even give the energy to this person over here it's not even worth your time there's always going to be haters when you're doing something or when you're elevating or when you make changes always okay so just stay on task do what you need to do. Whoever supports you, supports you. Whoever doesn't want to support you, that's okay too. We see true colours through events that happen in our life. And all we need to do as individuals is do what is best for us. And just try and make things happen the best way that we can. Move in integrity. Be nice. Be kind. And the world is our oyster. And that's just it. Capricorn, that is what I have for you. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. But until next time, I will see you soon. You take care. Bye.